Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for staying up with us. I'm Michelle Dixon. Well, six months ago, President Obama lifted the ban on federal funding for stem cell research. And as Ann Arnold reports, that has a Texoma man hoping for a new lease on life. Nick Mahler grew up in Wichita Falls in Burke Burnett. He's one of only three Texans and 300 Americans with a rare genetic mutation called fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP. Some people call it a prison that you're stuck in, but you know, it's, it's just what you make of it. Trauma has caused bone to grow over his muscle and ligaments, freezing his limbs in place. The condition basically builds an extra skeleton on top of his own bones. They kept telling them, my parents said I wouldn't live till I was 14, wouldn't live till I was 16. So they let me do, you know, whatever I felt I could do, you know, ride horses, ride bicycles in the hundred and hell hundred. Nick says science has recently made huge steps towards finding a cure. In the last six months, I think they've had more progression than they've had in the last 15 years just because of all the the restrictions that have been lifted, and it's definitely come along a lot faster than they were expecting. They've always, for all these years, thought it was strictly a muscle disease, and it's not. It's, you know, it is carried in the blood stem cells, and that's how it travels through his body. Nick, a mortgage banker, says he's not afraid to live his life. He's been bungee jumping, drag racing, and despite the FOP, says he doesn't want to just sit around. There's things you can't change. You just have to keep going, and you know, live life uh, as full as you can. Nick and Laurie say they're hopeful that advances in science and medicine will help them fight FOP. It may not help Nick, but it's going to help somebody else that has the same disease, you know, the little kids or... No, and it could help Nick, you know, it could make it one day where he could walk again. Ann Arnold, KFDX 3 News.